Hello everybody, you're all very welcome to another Tunkable tutorial. This time we're going to add a leaderboard to our app. So for this one we're going to use the Cloud Stitch component and my assumption is that you've already set up a Cloud Stitch account. When you open up your Cloud Stitch homepage you're going to create a new widget. Uh, I'm going to call mine Leaderboard and this is going to just take a couple of seconds to generate the project which we can then go and edit in Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets in this case. What we want to do here is make sure we've made a note of our API endpoint. So that's how we're going to upload and download data to and from Google Sheets. When we're ready, then we can edit this data. So I've just added in a couple of names here, Alice and Bob and Dom, under the player heading. And we've made up a couple of numbers as well for the score. Rather than try and do everything on one sheet, it's going to make our lives a little bit easier if we actually uh, include a second sheet here as well. So on sheet two, I've got the same titles, I've got player and I've got score. And what we're going to do is use a function called sort. And this uh, sort function takes three pieces of information. First of all, we need to know the range uh, that we're sorting. So that's all of the information on sheet one. We're going to start at A2 rather than A1 because we don't want to include the um, titles for the columns. Then the second piece of information we want is two because we want everything to be sorted according to the second column. That's the scores. If you wanted people sorted alphabetically, then I guess we just use one. And finally, what we'll do is we'll set is ascending to false. So this means it goes in uh, descending, so from the largest to the smallest. Testing this out now by putting in another name. Let's put in Charlie. Let's give 100 points here. Jump back into sheet two and we can see automatically updated. So we want to synchronize our data. It's important to hit that green button. And then we're going to go and we're going to open up Tunkable and create a new project with this account. I'm going to call this app Leaderboard. It's a, obviously a leaderboard application. And we're going to start off just to test this out. Again, same idea as usual. Let's build a proof of concept. Let's pop in a label and a button to visualize our results. And in experimental, we'll find the spreadsheet component. Now, since we have sheet one and sheet two, I'm going to add in two of these components. The uh, endpoints will be the same, but spreadsheet two is going to link to sheet two. Spreadsheet one is going to link to sheet one. Uh, at the end, then, when we put in the API endpoint, don't forget to add in here the question mark dev is equal to true. That allows us to use like real time uh, uploading and downloading or as close to real time as we can. When we're happy then with that, let's open up our blocks and let's start by getting some of this information from sheet two. Remember, sheet two is our sorted data. So the first thing, first move I made here was to go and get all my data out of spreadsheet one. And then you want to figure out when it get, when you get the information back, that's the uh, after getting data event here. So we're going to show all of that response content in our label. That's the text property. Now, take, give me a second here, and I'll finally realize that uh, this should be spreadsheet two rather than one. And we're more or less ready to test this out then, just to see what the results look like. So to make it easier for you, I've got a little uh, emulator here running in the background, or a screencast rather, running in the background. And um, when we click on button one, we can see that this returns uh, essentially just some JSON data. So we've got all the information we want there um, with the players and the scores. Now, I've written about this recently, uh, so we're going to go into the um, connectivity section. We're going to add in a web component, and this is actually going to allow us to convert that JSON data into uh, a regular Thunkable list. So we're using this um, JSON text to code block from the web component. Now, when we click our button, we're going to be able to see uh, a regular old, a plain old list. Now, I played around with this for a little bit, and I eventually came to the conclusion then that I was going to put all of this information into uh, into its own lists. So we're going to use three lists. First one then is going to be just for all of the information. So I think a list of the results, I think. Um, create an empty list there. So when we get back our data, we'll decode it and convert it into a list. And then what we can do is we could, yeah, we could just cycle through if we wanted that list. And we could um, write out one item at a time to the to the label. So first thing we'll do, first move we'll make is clear out the, the label in case there's anything already in it. And then what we'll do is we'll add in one item at a time separated by a new line. Uh, once we're happy with that, then we're going to add in the extra two lists. So we're going to have a list for all of the players and we're going to have a list for all of their scores. First one there we create is list of players. 
and then we can use the column names from our spreadsheet. So uh, that's there, there, those blocks there now. So there's listed um, one and list two. Once we're happy with that, then what we'll do is we'll set the list of players to be um, players, and then we'll set the list of scores to be scores. So all you do is just use a piece of text, a conventional string of text, type in the column title from your spreadsheet, mine was player, and the second column was titled score. And we could probably just loop through these again. So we can loop through the list of players, and we can duplicate all of this and loop through our list of scores and um, if we take a look here this isn't quite what we want in fact we only get the very last uh, score here i think yeah so it just shows us a 10. obviously what we need to do is we need to join it on to the previous text so if we go in here back to our text blocks we're just missing a tiny little bit of information we need to include the existing text from label one and we also need to include um yeah in, in both the blocks let's say so See if we can find level one dot text somewhere. There it is. Click on this. We'll add in a string to the top of this join block. Put the old text and one new item at a time. Put in the old text and add in one new item. Then after that, uh, hopefully then this should display everything in one label, and that looks good to me. So it's all in the right order. It's not alphabetical. It's sorted by scores. Uh, and once we're once we're kind of confident then that we know how to get that information from um, Cloud Stitch, how to display it in our app, then we can start tidying up the user interface. So I think the best way to go here is to have one label for the player names, and then a label just horizontally beside that. So that's why we're using the horizontal arrangement, and that's going to display all of their scores. Um, so everything, as we know, is already sorted from Google Sheets. That's going to make everything much much easier. Um, on us now in in the app essentially Google Sheets is doing all the all the really hard work for us. You can take a little bit of time here, play around with the font sizes and the spaces and the alignment and stuff. I tried it over on the right hand side first, um, and it didn't do what I wanted to do first of all, and it also didn't look uh, the you know I wasn't happy with how it looked. So if we go back into our blocks here, we just have to change that to label two. We should change the other one to label two as well. Um, not forgetting now to clear out label one and label two each time. So we still have one small change to make if we want to include all the, the scores, that should be label two as well. Okay, let's give that a quick test. That looks much better in terms of information anyway, at least. We've got the right people in the right order uh, with the right values matching up side by side. Uh, finally, last little thing to do then would be go back and choose the colors for the fonts that you want and align them whatever way you want. Uh, that's completely up to you then in, in the design side of things. But now what we've done is uh, we've kind of figured out how to uh, work with the Cloud Stitch component and how to get information that's already sorted into our app. So that's a huge, huge time saver for, for us. It means that we can add this kind of thing into a game. We can add it into anything at all that has any sort of leaderboard. And in the next video, then what we're going to do is look at how to actually push. So using that spreadsheet one component, how to push data to our spreadsheet. So there we go. Everything nicely center aligned. They're a little bit close maybe as well. So I'm going to go back, pop in a another just a horizontal arrangement in here. You don't it could be anything. It could be a label, let's say. And I'm just going to set the width here to five pixels, five or ten pixels. So there's a tiny bit of padding. Just a little bit of breathing space between the data. Now, if we look at it, there we go. That's all the information we want. Um, I hope you like the video. Uh, change around the audio setup, so hopefully it sounds a little bit better. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see everybody in the next video.